to my channel today. This is Mark the Tech Guy here, and today I'm just going to try something new, and I'm going to start a new weekly um, thing here. I'm going to start doing This Week in Tech, which will be related to tech articles that I see on that throughout the week on different things that are coming out and different stories that are going around the net. So, I'm going to get right into it here. Now, this week's biggest story is the iPad. As you guys well know, the iPad will be coming out April the 3rd. Now, on April the 3rd, um, there's already been hundreds of thousands of pre-orders. So let's see how many more will be left over for everybody else to buy. Let's, I'd love to see the numbers that happen that day. And there's already being advertisements leaked um, on the net of what advertisements they're coming out with. I don't know if this is Apple's way of saying, okay, we just want to hype it up a little bit, so let's start releasing things slowly um, as it gets closer to launch. So as you guys well know, there's a guy out there by the name of Geohot. Now, if you guys have a jailbroken phone or a jailbroken iPod, and you're running Black Rain, you guys know this guy because he is responsible for jailbreaking the, I the iPhone and the iPod Touch. And now, there's been a rumor going around the net this week, there's even actually a video um, that I've actually posted it on my channel here as well, that he has come up with a jailbreak for the iPad. Now, who would have thought a week before, or two weeks before launch, that this would even be possible? But now, this week, they've already said that it is most likely that you will see a jailbreak come out a week or so after the iPad is launched. So this is a major breakthrough for Geohot, and he is he has jailbroken, you know, the iPhone, the iPad, the 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 iPod Touch. So now he is apparently before even launches jailbroken the iPad. Now we'll see when it, when it comes out. He think he's pretty sure that it will work. Um, but as of right now, it's all speculation. Um, we just have to wait till launch day when he can get his hands on one of these and start trying it out. So, that's one of the biggest stories going around the net this week. And this week also, um, Best Buy has also announced, well not announced, there's been a leaked press release on the internet saying that uh, there's actually a picture of it. And it states that all the Best Buys that have Apple vendors within them, like Apple booths, they will be able to sell the iPad. So, if you guys are looking to get an iPad, I double check this because this is just going around the net, and this is I'm just hearing this. So, you might want to call them and ask them, because this it's been leaked, so they might not even tell you, but... It sounds like they will also be launching these at the Apple stores that are within the Best Buy locations. Um, so that's big news. So now, the next story, um, the Nintendo Wii has come out with Netflix. Now we all know this has been months in the making that uh, they announced you know, back in 2009 that they were going to come out with Netflix. So now they're saying they're receiving the discs, and now they'll be ready to ship them. Um, so you guys let me know what you think. If you are going to get these discs, to, to, you know, you have to put them into your Wii every single time you want to access Netflix. Um, I think it's it, it could have been just a, a basic update, you know, like they do with, uh, they do them with the Wii as well. You know, they put patches into stuff all the time. So it could have been a patch update. But uh, for some reason, you need a disc. So, you know, they've already got Netflix on Xbox Live, and you don't need a disc. So I don't know why they are doing this. So that has been some of the stories that have been just going around the net this week. And uh, I, I don't think there's uh, too many more that are, that are big enough to talk about this week. So that's, that's it for this week. And that, was, that has been This Week in Tech. And if you guys would like to give me your feedback, that would be great if you could put them in the comments below. And I would just like to ask everybody, if you could take this time 
all my loyal subscribers out there, if you could just rate and favorite any one of my videos, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get more subscribers so I can start reviewing bigger and better things. I want to be able to get out there more. I want companies to see this channel. And I want to start reviewing bigger and better things. Right now I'm reviewing iPod apps and you know gadgets that I see around the net. But I would actually like to physically get these in my hands so I can review them. And I've also I've, I am working together right now with a few different companies to get products shipped to me to start reviewing them. And the same with app developers, as you guys well know. I already gave out some promo codes for a game called Coolball. Um, I gave out five promo codes. And uh, I didn't know. They only worked in the United States. Uh, they did not. I had some people um, tell me that they lived in Canada and the promo codes didn't work. I'm sorry, guys, about that. Um, and I did not. I was not aware of that. And um, apparently, when you live in the States and you're an app developer, those codes are only good for the States. So they're not good in Canada. So if there was a developer in Canada, that would that would be the same way. They'd only be good in Canada, the promo codes. So I'm sorry guys, there's just nothing I can do about that. Um, I'll try to find out where the developer is from and, and see where those codes are coming from so I can let you guys know in advance. Um, so I can say, you know, these promo codes are only good in the United States or they're only good in Canada. So this has been Mark the Tech Guy saying thanks for watching This Week in Tech. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, everybody. Where do you live?